hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Transport Roulette. So, <laughs> you can tell there's probably a very obvious change in setting. Usually we are playing Transport Roulette in London, which is an absolutely brilliant place to play Transport Roulette. But this time, we find ourselves in Japan, Sapporo in Japan to be specific. Um, here is the bus station in front of Sapporo station. Um, it's not the prettiest area at the moment because of going through lots of renovation, but that is the main station. <laughs> it's a bit unimpressive when your main station looks like this. Um, but anyway, what I have done is I brought my program with me and let's roll. Yeah, I'm just going to clarify a few rules before we do play. Uh, in Sapporo, we have a few modes of transport. We've got the subway. Uh, or the metro style service that operates underground, whatever you call it in your world. We've got the bus, obviously, as you can see here. We've got the JR lines, and we have the streetcar, also known as the tram. Streetcar seems to just be the American and unpreferred way of calling it tram. Um, okay, shoot, let's get on with it and let's roll, let's roll, let's roll. Oh, I'm playing my London map. It's just told me to get the Emirates airline. That's not going to happen here, is it? Bus 63, northbound slash eastbound, three stops. So that is a 64. 64. I was lucky. Please don't depart. <laughs> that was lucky. Three stops. Okay, off we go. First mode of transport. <laughs> This is what the interior of a Japanese bus looks like. We are going to Kitahachijo Nanachome. Which is a few buses available. We've got 64, 63. 19, 17, so we shouldn't have any difficulty getting a bus there. Okay, are you at a location of more than two routes available? It says three, it should say two. Uh, we're not, we've only got the bus available. Uh, so, is it going to be denied to us? Yes, okay, so you choose your next journey. I will choose to stay on this bus and we will go to Kanjodori Higashi um, Station which has the subway available to us. You'll be able to see what a nice Japanese subway network looks like. The bus is in Japan. Um, unlike in London where it's all managed by TFL and then um, smaller operators tender routes. Um, it's completely private companies uh, in Sapporo here. Uh, I think elsewhere in Japan as well. So in Sapporo you've got multiple different companies operating bus services. This is our stop. Right, this is slightly wrong. Okay, should we just get off here anyway? It's not what I envisaged. <laughs> oh, it's a subway station. Okay, so I thought we were going to Kanjodori Higashi, but we'd obviously. <laughs> I know my Japanese was obviously a bit out of, out of scratch. Anyway, we have uh, the Toho subway line available from here. We also have buses, as you can see there, there's a 64 in here, there's a tour bus. We have New Stosse Airport. So let's roll, get in the shade first of all. Bus 61, northbound slash eastbound, two stops and... Yeah, the, six, <laughs> the bus route closest to 61, I believe, is just gone. Oh no, anyway, <laughs> I guess it's in here for a nice wait in the sweltering heat and see which bus we can get. Oh, we do have a 61 actually, but it's only once every hour. Never mind, let's see. Yeah, there's a 61 in 7 odd minutes. It's due at 13.05. Um, yeah, we'll get that to Kanzadori Higashi because that's two stops from here, coincidentally. Um, so let's do that. We've got here by mistake, but. <laughs> Never mind, we really should have rolled as soon as we got on uh, that bus uh, for the next mode of um, transport after we got off. Number 61, getting this for two stops.
the bus station. This is cool. This doesn't exactly win awards for being the most glamorous place in the world, does it? Anyway, let's roll. Uh, okay. Streetcar, we're not going to get that here. There goes our bus. Very nice bus. Are you at a location with more than three routes available? Uh, or I should say two routes available. Uh, we have two routes available I guess head by the quickest route to Sapporo it's been very nice to us we are going to the quickest route to Sapporo that's where we came from and that means that we can take the subway that's our train on the board there 1318 one take us this way train is two stations away. It's nice of you to tell me that. Taking this few stops down the line towards Sapporo, where we have many, many transport options available to us as you clearly saw. Oh, that frequency drop at the end is very nice. It seems it's the nicest flooring material, but it's like sort of soft, but not really. Right, this is a bit of a problem because um, we have we need to roll quickly, even the Nambuku line or the Toho line. Nambuku line, we're going one stop northbound. It's just a bit rushed there because I was a bit worried because it's a seven minute wait for the next subway train. So, but anyway, we're going we're changing lines here onto uh, the other line. There were three lines to support. Right? We're going on the Nambuku line, as um, shown by that uh, green. Green sign post just stop there. We're going one stop northbound. Okay, we're doing about the station. I have a very, very narrow platform here for the biggest station in Sapporo. Here's our train. Um, we're going to Kitajuni Drop, as seen on the board just there. The train will be arriving very shortly. We should be able to tell what traction notice it has. This one's a Mitsubishi. It's accelerating fast, these ones. Left hand side. We're staying on the train. 11 stops, we're going all the way to the terminus. Look at that. 
what have we got here? It's the terminus of the line, so you don't need to worry about being in a hurry. We've got lots and lots of buses. <laughs> and I mean lots of buses. Nothing else, I don't think. JR, I don't think we're going to get that here, we're a bit too far away. Streetcar, no. JR again, no. No, JR again. Bus, 61 again, what is it with... I love 61 for some reason. South, left, westbound, 10 stops. Well, let's find the buses first of all. And then get the bus route that's closest to 61. South, left, westbound for 10 stops. Can get the maximum waiting time is 15 minutes, of course. Got a 33 in three minutes. Got a 41 in 14 minutes. It's six or seven, isn't it? Bus station. So I believe we're getting the 41 towards Taney Station. It starts here, and we're going for 10 stops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, okay, so we are going to a bus driving school, okay, <laughs> that's cool. Chuo Basu Jido Shakakko Mai, Chuo Bus Driving School, <laughs> that's interesting. Yeah, the bus stop's not exactly where I thought it was, it's a bit annoying, I think it's just this bus stop up here on the left hand side. Ah, uh, 41, bus stop number one. Nice music and thanks for telling us. That's our bus. I'm for Tony Station. Going as far as the Chiro Bus Driving School or. <laughs> It's definitely one of the stranger bus stop names. Here we are. There's our bus just leaving there. <laughs> and this is the Tura Bus Driving School, funnily enough. They played an advert for Vacancy Secure Bus just as we're arriving into the bus stop. Um, anyway, what do we have to do? Oh yes, the dice. Uh, where are we going? Where are we going? Uh, I had a location of more than three routes available. Uh, no, we only have a bus here. But when I say three routes available, I, I really mean two. Head by, head by the quickest route to Odori. Uh, Odori is the main central interchange of everything in Sapporo. You've got like the um, streetcar, you've got the um, all three subway lines in Sapporo. You've got the Tozai line, Namboku line and Toho line. And you've also got plenty of buses as well, not just from Chura Bus as well. You've got lots of other private operators from Odori as well. Odori is probably one of the best places you can roll in this game. So very, very, very good, very, very good, good things, particularly considering we're in the middle of nowhere at the moment. Um, somewhere in Kitaku, but anyway, let's ask Google what the best way to get to Odori is. That was a Chura bus taxi. Chura bus driving taxi. And another one. It seems that Chura bus is not just for driving buses, it's for driving cars as well. You can learn to drive a car at a bus company. Petrol is cheap in Japan, bloody hell. 144 yen per litre, that's 144 yen, that's less than a pound per litre. Whereas in the UK, we'll be applying for well over two pounds per litre. <laughs> Comes our bus, we'll be taking this 13 bus down to uh, Asabu and then we'll get the subway down to Odori again.
this place. Time to get on the underground back to Adora. Yeah, underground subway back to Adora. I've got to say, saying underground tube. I think there's a train there. to leave. Let's just see again. Welcome to Odori. Um, it's going to wait a minute because it is school rush time now. And as you may know, a lot of people that go to school in Japan take the train to school so the trains are absolutely rammed. It's probably busier than in Russia right now. Just for this like half hour period. Get out of where all the crowds from the train depart and then we'll roll our next train. So it's actually on this one. Off goes our train. Okay, Simon says to get the streetcar. Northbound or eastbound for 10 stops. Now, the streetcar was recently extended, wasn't it? It was recently extended so that you can now go eastbound from this young town now. So, um, it's streetcar, 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 streetcar. It is about to rain. Of course, this kino is this way. This jumps up here. Wow, look at the mountains in the background. It's got a heritage tram. And we're going for 10 stops on this service. This is a proper like, camshaft tram. I've annoyed the tram driver in my slightly annoying, <laughs> in my slightly terrible Japanese, but yeah, we're here. So mate, it's nice to see a useful tram network. <coughs> Corridor trams. Right, what are we going to do from here? It looks like it's about to rain, so I think I'm going to end it there, actually. Wow, what an interesting day it's been. We've been on so many buses, we went on the trams, we went on the subway. But yeah, so it's, it, it's been absolutely amazing. And it's so refreshing to have been able to do transport really in this foreign city, which, I mean, London, I can get you around most parts of London, but here I cannot. So, it's, it feels really nice to be from, like, a... Um, different perspective, I guess. That sound reminds me of the 313s. <laughs> anyway, I will see you in another video. Um, if you do wish to check out some um, other of my Japan content, that should already be on the uh, channel already. So do feel free to check some of that out. Um, yeah, that, if you go to my channel page, then there will be uh, among the more recent uploads. And I'll see you all next time.